Hylion is a much talked about company in the electric vehicle space, and their primary focus is actually on hybrid semi trucks and semi truck conversions. They've got quite the list and plan for how they want to approach this whole conversion process, and they're a lot different than many other companies. Their CEO, Thomas, has described the company in the following way. Once the company has plans, we're joined by the founder and CEO, Hylion Thomas Healy, that joins us now. Uh, and Thomas, I mean, uh, talk to me about why you think that is the best strategy. I know you might have plans uh, down the road for building your own semi-trucks, but that seems to be the differentiating factor here. So what makes you want to go that way? So we're a powertrain company, right? So what we're doing is actually focusing on the drivetrain of the vehicle as opposed to reinventing the entire vehicle from the ground up. Now, the benefit of this is that uh, it's a lot quicker of, an, of a development, right? If you're designing the whole vehicle, you need to worry about the headlights, the steering wheel, the seats, all the above. Versus for us, we're able to just focus on the powertrain, very, very similar to what Cummins does for the trucking industry. But then that allows us to put our powertrain in all of the existing OEMs chassis like Freightliner and Volvo and Peterbilt, right? So we're able to work with those existing OEMs and enable them to have our electric powertrain in their vehicles. You might have also heard of the company referred to as SHLL or Tortoise Acquisition Corporation. Tortoise is a acquisition company designed specifically for making a private company go public through reverse merger. Essentially, Hillion is going to go through a reverse merger with Tortoise and that will bring them into the stock market. It's an alternative way of going public. Other popular methods include things like IPOs. So when you're buying Tortoise stock, you'll receive Hillion stock after the merger, kind of. In this case, the whole system is actually warrant-based. You need to read up on the exact contract of the acquisition company in order to get all the details. Barron's has a good article describing this specific warrant system, but that's why this seemingly random company has had its ticker symbol skyrocket, and why you see Hillion referred to with a couple different names, but you're not actually buying their stock. They're technically not public yet. Now, this company is definitely interesting. They claim to be a powertrain company rather than a vehicle company like Cummins or ASIN. This is definitely an interesting approach and it puts them in a unique space from the rest of the sector. Retrofitting is dramatically different from a lot of the other major companies we've previously discussed like NEO, Aero, Arkimoto, Tesla, and Nikola. And their whole hybrid system is interesting. A lot of the big downsides of hybrid systems seem to be mitigated by moving to a semi-truck platform. Hybrids are heavy and complex, however, a semi-truck can handle extreme loads and is large enough to make a hybrid system easier to work on and integrate. Additionally, the Hillion approach puts the electric drive on just one axle, typically. Having this multi-axle vehicle allows for the system to be easily swapped in. I have to say, this seems like a pretty clever design. A hybrid system would appear to easily integrate with a semi-truck platform. This specific model is actually their electric-focused semi-truck. These are more of the details on how exactly the conversion occurs and the various parts that go into the semi-truck. You're not going to be pulling an entire trailer full of extra equipment. It connects to the rear axle and then integrates a couple other systems. Companies want a green appearance, and they also want to experiment with technologies that could become the future. So I think Hillion as a company makes a lot of sense. The retrofit doesn't have this low horsepower like pure natural gas trucks typically have. It also exists and can be purchased, unlike a hydrogen fuel cell truck. Wegmans, a large grocery chain, seems like it is currently using two hybrid trucks. They have an existing relationship and might convert more of their fleet. The first one seems to be a conversion way back in 2017, and the second unit seems to be a purchased unit. In fact, there's a whole presentation online talking about their integration with companies. Hillion is definitely not shy about talking about progress. They have a lot of presentations available online, webinars that detail tons of things. It's really fascinating to see how much they give away and discuss and how they clearly have a plan to move forward. There are also rumors of HEB being another future customer, but much of that is speculation. In this video, we can see an HEB tagged truck in the Hillian warehouse, but there's no official partnership yet. Their electric focused model actually has an onboard natural gas generator to charge the batteries. 
So it's electric driven, but you can extend the range with natural gas systems. That sort of sounds like a hybrid, but maybe a very basic hybrid system. But really, all this progress and updates they provide is something I really like to see, a company actually producing and selling products. We don't know what their current manufacturing capacity looks like, but they've established at least one partnership and have sold vehicles. They are not shy about showing off hybrids, and the people behind the co company give pretty fantastic presentations. I don't get a scammy vibe like I do when I look into a company like Nikola. Speaking of Nikola, Trevor Milton actually tweeted about them, stating that most states will mandate zero emissions and that he would be happy to advise them. This is such an absurd statement. I really just want to make a whole video about this subject specifically. But for now, I'll say that petroleum-based fuels are not going away for a long time, unless we see some shocking changes technology-wise. And even then, scrapping an entire truck is just economically insane and not that great for the environment if you're getting rid of something that functions. You get a truck and you have a return on investment for that truck. If you hold enough product to pay for the truck, why get rid of it if it's still functioning? Honestly, Hillian looks like it has a lot of potential. They have a plant, they're selling to customers, and they have great presentations and information dumps. If this is a stock that interests you, then I would absolutely take a look at their presentations and press releases to get a good feel for the company. They've released a lot. These webinars especially are pretty interesting, and they go through a lot of different things. As for things that are concerning, obviously this whole acquisition company and warrant system is not as straightforward as just trading shares. Technically, Hillian is not a public company yet, so you aren't directly buying their shares. And to point out the obvious, this is a relatively small company finding their feet. They are not a massive corporation with solid sales numbers, which makes them a speculative or risky asset, whichever terminology you prefer. You can't really compare it to a stock like Amazon or something. Depending on your risk tolerance, it might not make sense to buy speculative assets, especially in such an early non-public phase. Additionally, we've had a huge run-up as of late. Whenever you see explosive growth like this, it could mean large buys and a continued bull run, but more often than not, you risk pullback and corrections until further news or information comes out. Those would be the big things to keep in mind when dealing with this stock. There's obviously a lot going on, and people are super excited about it, and from what I can see, it seems like they're taking things very seriously. But remember, it's in such an early phase, and with everything going on, it's wrong to say that it's anything other than a risky asset. If you're interested in getting into the market and investing, I have a link in the description below for signing up to Webull. Webull is a trading platform that has a mobile app, desktop app, and web app. Uh, personally, I think they're a fantastic brokerage and I use them all the time. If you sign up, you can get a free stock valued up to $1,600.